Tonight at 11, we're going to begin with brand new video showing a Metro Atlanta teacher allegedly dragging a student out of her classroom. The child's father now demanding the teacher, teacher be charged. And as of tonight, that has not happened, which is why he says he's now turning to 11 Alive for help. That's right. So he says he wants to take this case public. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live in Coweta County. Uh, Cody, you spoke to the child's father tonight. What is he saying? Yeah, I'm outside East Coweta Middle School where this child's father says his seventh grade social studies teacher assaulted him. It was November 6th, fourth period at East Coweta Middle. Him and another student had a paper football. Justin Dewberry says it was right before lunch, boys being boys. So another student flicks it at him. Uh, it hit his desk and then my son seen that flick and just kind of swatted it off his desk. Dewberry says what happened next still doesn't make sense. She obviously lost her cool, uh, as you'll see in the video. Video, Dewberry says he's been requesting since November 7th. I don't believe I actually got the video until about a month ago. And this is what it showed. Dewberry says it matches what his son described. My son come home, told me that he had been drugged by a teacher. He said that he had been drugged backwards out of his chair by his book bag and then into the hallway to the floor and um, was stepped over. I stopped by the teacher's home Wednesday. Yeah, with 11 Alive News. The man who answered the door said she was on the phone. Okay. Here's my card with my cell number on it. She never called. Her excuse for not knowing he was in the book bag, that's absurd. I mean, He's 120 pounds. You know he's in the book bag by the time you put your hand on it. Dewberry admits. Now, I understand a teacher's job's hard. I couldn't do it. But says what we see in this video should have never happened. There's a process. Give him a warning. Write him up. If he's being that bad, send him to the office. Don't touch my kid. Justin Dewberry actually took a warrant out himself on this teacher. They had a court hearing this morning. The judge told them he would take between two and four weeks to decide if he will sign that and have this teacher arrested for simple battery. Now, I did reach out to the Quita County Sheriff's Office who investigated this alleged assault. They have not yet reached back out to me. Now, what I'm told from paperwork filed today in that courtroom, this teacher here that you saw in that video was allowed to resign for personal and medical reasons on November 17th. All right, Cody, thanks a lot for the update there in Coweta County.